My name Edmond Yakani, Executive Director of SEPO. I would like to take this opportunity to appreciate, congratulate the rollout peace talks in Rome between the delegation of the government, which is Artigono, and representative of the opposition under Tumaini Initiative in Nairobi, and then the leadership of the mediation team of Tumaini going together to Rome to meet with the other opposition groups under SOMA, which was led by General Thomas Rido from National Salvation Front, and we have South Sudan National Movement for Change led by Alex Yatta, and we have National Democratic Movement Patriotic Front led by Emmanuel Ajawin. They have rolled out a peace talks through the offices of facilitation of St. Gideon community and today marks the second day and we're getting a progressive report from Rome. I would like this opportunity to say the ball is now in the scourge of the government in terms of taking a genuine and sincere responsibility for working towards a comprehensive political transitional agenda. What we have seen in the past the element of signing an agreement for manipulation and for mistreatment and humiliation of other political leaders this time round need to be stopped. We need to take a primary responsibility of serious commitment and serious will for securing political transitional process in the country between the conflicting parties that decide on the political pathway of South Sudan. We can name as government, we can name as opposition under the Tumaini, and now the other opposition that are not signatory to the R access who are based in Rome, as I've mentioned, NAS under General Thomas Sirido, and South Sudan National Movement for Change under Alex Yatta, and the National Democratic Movement Patriotic Front under Thomas Sirido, as right now they are in a progressive talk under the facilitation of St. Gideon community with the participation of the mediation team of Tumaini. I would like to take this opportunity as an activist to communicate to our political leaders. The best way for searching a solution to our political differences and grievances is through peace talks. We are happy that our lobby and advocacy is now working towards securing of comprehensive political transitional process in the country. And as we have appealed in the past and we have informed the citizen that we will put all our energy and efforts to ensure all discontented political establishment comes to a mediation table for reaching an agreement of paving a pathway for successful, genuine, honest political transitional process that will transition our country from violence to peace. And now we have seen a government delegation, a representative of opposition from Tumaini and the mediation team of Tumaini are now in Rome under the facilitation of St. Gideon community mm, talking to the other opposition parties that are not part of the Tumaini initiative. As I mentioned, NAS led by Thomas Cirillo, South Sudan National Movement for Change led by Alex Yatta, and then the National Democratic movement, patriotic front led by Emmanuel Ajawin. This is a progressive message. I would like to appeal to the citizen. Let us all stand up in an honest and sincere manner. Pray for Almighty to make sure that all our political groups, including Simon Garwich in Sudan, will join the vehicle that is driving the country from political instability to political stability because we are tired with the situation in our country. And our final appeal goes to the top political leadership of the country. Moment has come for you to take a serious primary responsibility of standing up for successful and genuine political transition. What we have seen around the attitudes towards the Tumaini outcome, which was mediated recently in Kenya, is discouraging and is sending a message that we have a class of political leaders who are peace spoilers. And I would like to urge the leadership of the country, moment has come for peace spoilers not to be impressed so that they will realize that they are liability 
for successful political transition of our country. Your Excellency President, Your Excellency First Vice President, leaders of other political establishment, the peace spoilers around you are now liability to our country political stability. Can you take a decision and tell the peace spoilers in a non-violent manner that distant yourself allow South Sudanese to reach among themselves a pathway for successful, genuine political transitional process. We are watching history is writing down a track record for some of our political leaders that we have seen their statements that makes the environment of political transition from violence to peace harder. And history will never forget you. My appeal goes back to the delegation in Rome that please take advantage of the spirit of the mediation and facilitation by St. Gideon community and by the Kenyan to Maini mediation team to offer the country a hope for peace and stability to prevail. Thank you very much.